Okay, so in this video, we're going to finally solve some simple exponential equations using logs. So the first equation I'm going to think about is trying to solve the power of 2 that you need to raise uh, uh, 2 to get the number 1,000. Of course, this is the same as finding the log base 2 of 1,000. But let's to keep it at the language of we want to solve the equation 2 to the x equals 1,000. So I don't know what the answer to this number is, to the exact answer to this equation is, but something we do, we can find out just by inspection is that 2 to the 8, 2 to the 9, 2 to the 10, 2 to the 9, if you check somewhere, is uh, 512, and 2 to the 10 is 1024. These are numbers that you probably know from experience with computers, and if not, you can check 2. To raise a power in my decimals calculator, I use the second number right here. I cannot put here a pointer, but the second number in this row has a to the b, and that takes you to the power, and then just put a 9, and your answer shows up on the right side. Um, now, something to understand is that you're in the exponent right now. If you want to navigate uh, out of that exponent, you have to move on this row at the, the left, uh, sorry, the right, you have these arrows that can take you through the, see the cursor moves through that input. But I don't need to write right now, go to the line. So 2 to the power of 10, again, I'm use this um, right there, a to the b, 2 to the 10, is 1024. So I know the answer is between 9 and 10, and closer to 10 than to 9, so it's going to be 10 point something, it's going to be a decimal. But how am I going to solve it? Well, what we're going to do is use the property of logs that we saw in our last video. We're going to use that um, the log base b of a number, I'm sorry for having an x here, let me, let me change the letters log base b of a number a to the power of n is n times the log base b of that number. So how are we going to use that? Well, I'm going to have the expression here that I have 2 to the x equals 1,000. And lo lo let me notice carefully what the magic is here. This power becomes in front. So that power, if you want to, let's change it to have the same notation, that's an x, right? So what I'm saying is, if at this level, I take the logs on both sides of my equation, oh, and I don't know, now my calculator only has two logs, the natural log and the log base 10, that we kind of mentioned before. So at this level here, at the right of that row, there's a two buttons, ln, which is the natural log, which is base e, and the log with that has no base specifically written, and we know that's base 10. So we can use any of those buttons. Um, so log of, let me go back to my quantity over here, log of 2 to the x would be log of 1,000. And I want to keep this red to know that this is what I'm doing. When I'm applying the function log base 10, okay, of 1,000. Now the right side, I hope you see that this was base 10. So remember that this is exactly, what we, one of the examples we used, this is exactly 3. And if you want to check that that's true, go over here, and in this calculator you type exactly as you would, log, it opens the parentheses and you can write the number 1,000 in there. So here go back to the main, and I go to 1,000. See how, as I add a 0, my result just updates, right? It's just the powers of 10. So log of 1,000 is right there. It's 3. Now on the left side, going back to my equation, I'm going to use the properties that I said so that x comes in front. I have let x log of 2. Okay, so on the right side, I, I evaluate log of 1,000, and I got 3. On the left side, I'm using the property that allows me to bring this number x. Outside of the log, I bring it in front. 
that's the next one right there. So then log base two, sorry, log base 10 of two, this is a quantity, this is a number. If I go here, I can find, uh, click in my red arrow again here in the functions and the log in base two. So log of, go back to the numbers, log of two. So it's this ugly decimal. So I'm, I can copy that number, the 0 0.301029957 here, right? And then I would be doing this dividing by that quantity to the other side, right? Dividing by that quantity to put it over here as a denominator. So I'm not going to copy the number. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to leave it like express like x equals 3 divided by the log base 10 of 2. Why? Because if I copy this, I'm probably going to cut some decimals off and I will lose accuracy. I'd rather leave it like that and only do one operation and let my calculator round using all the decimals. So if I you write this, then I can write, okay, I can just say my calculator can handle 3 divided by, so put the division button here, and then go to the functions and look for log of 2. Go back to the main, 2. So it's 9.96. And as I said, I expected that answer to be somewhere close to 10, right? So it's going to be between these two powers of 2. So I exactly got uh, 9.965. I'm going to use four decimals. So 9658. So I'm going to use four decimals. 9658. Okay. And it's an approximation. Why? Because if you go and you and if you write 2 to the power of 9.9658, I don't get See, I rounded this last digit, I rounded up, right? It was really 96578, so then I go over 1,000, right? So the more decimals you use, the better approximation you get. But the only exact number is if you keep it like this. And that's the exact solution. But of course, in many applications, we want a, a decimal approximation, and we okay giving it like that. Okay, so let's do one more uh, very quickly right here. So if I want to solve 3 to the x equals to 5,000, what I would do is take the log on both sides. Use the property of the logs to bring this x in front. To do that, I'm going to write a new line, x log this is base 10 remember of 3 equals log now in my last example i simplified this one no i'm not going to do it i'm going to leave it like that and now what i do is divide by the log base 3 quantity remember this is a quantity so i'm going to it's going to be the log base 10 of 5000 divided by the log base 10 of 3. and i'm going to leave the expression like that that would be my exact answer and if you want to find um um, decimal approximation, you can go here and say functions. I want to find the log of 5,000. Go back to the main. Now here, be sure to close the parentheses and now put the division. So it takes me to a denominator here and then type the log of 3. So it's approximately 7.7526 rounds to 7527. And because I rounded up, I'm sure that if I check by doing 3 to the power of 7.7527, it's going to be a little bit of an overestimate. Right. OK, so now we solve our first equations using logs. Yeah. <laughs>